Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the TriSpector 1000 3D Vision Sensor from SIC. In this video we will show you how to set up the TriSpector in a few simple steps. Let's get started by learning how to acquire your first image, based on this example with a biscuit box. First install SOPAS on your computer. The software can be downloaded from SIC.com. When you open SOPAS you will see that the main window is split into two panes the project view on the left side and the list of available devices on the right side. Add the Trispector to your project. If there are IP address connection issues, click the edit icon in the project pane to make adjustments. Double click the device to open the device window. Now let's have a look at the different navigation options to change the view of the image. Select. Click and drag to change region size and position. Move. Click and drag to move the image. Rotate. Click and drag to rotate the image. Zoom. Click and drag upwards to zoom in and downwards to zoom out. Or use the mouse scroll wheel. You can also use the navigation cube to select the view. The Trispector takes cross-sectional height profiles and combines them into a 3D image. For the field of view, you can see two areas. The green area represents the area in which image acquisition will be guaranteed. The blue area represents the area that will be acquired by the sensor. The maximum length of an image is 2500 profiles. The bottom width of the selected field of view is never wider than the guaranteed field of view. Adjust the field of view to fit your object. You can hide the field of view regions by clicking the field of view box. In the motion section you can choose between two different profile trigger options. Free running, where you can enter the object speed and set the profile distance, which is the distance between two consecutive 3D profiles. Incremental encoder where you can set the number of encoder pulses per millimeter and the profile distance. The speed and profile distance settings both affect the profile rate. Use an encoder if the speed of your object is varying. Move the object under the TriSpector 1000 laser line to acquire a 3D image. In the acquisition section, you can adjust the exposure time, gain and laser threshold settings. Click the Sensor 2D Image tab to see how the laser profile is affected by the exposure time and gain parameters. Strive to keep the gain low and instead increase the exposure time. Otherwise unnecessary noise in the image could be introduced. And look at the 3D image when changing the laser threshold. The laser threshold specifies which intensity data should be included when creating the 3D image. The intensity information is visualized on top of the 3D data, so that, for example, text or logos can be seen. The image trigger section is used to determine when images are to be acquired. The default setting is none, where the Trispector starts to acquire a new image as soon as the previous one is finished. Or you can select Trigger on Input 3, where the Trispector is triggered externally by for instance a photoelectric sensor or a PLC. When using this setting, the image acquisition can be delayed by a specified time or distance from the signal input. Now the settings are complete and an accurate 3D image has been acquired. The Trispector 1000 is a compact, rugged, easy to set up 3D vision sensor. <laughs> 